This video is in partnership with Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Hello friends! It's been a while since my last Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. video on my channel, but we're back! So I've featured Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. on my channel a couple of times now. But for anyone new here, they're basically these Japanese subscription boxes where the snacks are curated for a specific theme of the month. And the best part is you get to try all of these snacks from the comfort of your own homes. Tokyo Treat features the latest exclusive and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited amount of time. While Sakura Ko features more authentic snacks which supports local snack makers and they also include Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. So thank you so much to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko for reaching out and sponsoring today's video. And if you want to get $5 off your first box, you can use my code below. Let's get started. Now before getting into the boxes, let's see what the themes are for this month. For Tokyo Treat, this month's theme is called Halloween Snack Haul. We're celebrating Halloween with Tokyo Treat filled with Halloween-inspired snacks such as Kit Kat Sweet Potato, Pokemon Halloween Choco Pie, and a lot more. And for Sakura Ko, this month's theme is called Kyoto's Crimson Leaves. Sakura Ko partnered with Kyoto Prefectural Government for a limited edition box design inspired by the beauty of Kyoto's auto season. So that's it and let's get into the boxes. So as usual we're gonna start with the Tokyo Treat box first and it's really nicely designed like I think they really incorporated such nice Halloween graphics into this. Let's make sure nothing falls this time. I just said. <laughs> hey Tokyo Treat fam, the spookiest season of the year is finally here and we are thrilled to bring some snack and thrills straight to your doorstep in this limited edition Halloween box. We wanted to bring you a taste of Japan's unique take on Halloween, so we packed this box full of our favorite Halloween snacks. Happy snacking, the Tokyo Treat crew. As usual, there's always gonna be a type of ramen or noodle in these boxes. I pre-cooked it and we're gonna try that first. So the ramen or the noodles that came in this box is called Tanuki Yakisoba. This vegetarian-friendly, savory yakisoba is best enjoyed with your favorite toppings. When I was still in college, yakisoba was like my go-to cup noodles. Every time I would go to 7-Eleven, I would always get the Nissin yakisoba that you just pour hot water into it and that was the last time I ever had it so this is bringing me back let's try it hmm. the noodles are better the flavor is better and they're right I think this would taste really good with like imitation crab or something it's not a Tokyo treat box without special flavored Kit Kat enjoy the sweet smell and subtle flavor of these white chocolate sweet potato Kit Kats the packaging is really cute as usual. It's a bit melted, but that is because of Philippine weather. I was looking for the sweet potato the moment the Kit Kat hit my mouth. That's why I was a bit confused. But when I started chewing on the wafer, it's like the taste just came out of the wafer. It's so good. It doesn't taste exactly like a potato. The outside is literally just white chocolate. Moving on to our next snack. Crunch into these thick cut golden potato chips infused with savory sesame oil and salt. I really love savory food. I love salty stuff. So this, I am no doubt going to love this. Looks like this. Looks like a normal potato chip. Let's try it. I feel like to a normal person, this just tastes like normal potato chips, but if you really love sesame, this is really good. It's not an overwhelming flavor of sesame, it's just right. Now we have a drink. Straight from Kobe, this drink is sweetened with Japanese citrus extracts for a unique flavor. I think it's really gonna match this one. It kind of reminds me of coke. You know how sometimes coke is too overwhelming to the point it feels like it hurts your throat? This one isn't like that. The same flavor as coke but just tone it down a bit. But it doesn't taste watered down. And this one I'm really excited about because I've already tried this before. Soft, crispy, and melt in your mouth, this sweetened corn puff snack is a Halloween classic. Savor the sweet caramel coating in this classic treat. I just remember this tasting like it was quite airy, kind of like caramel popcorn but not popcorn textured if that makes sense. 
They taste just like how I remember them. I'm still right about them being super airy. I'm really surprised I liked this as a kid because tasting it now, the caramel is a lot more subtle. But I don't remember if it was always like this. But now, I like it even more because it's not too sweet. So next snack, these savory corn snacks have a light Pollock row flavor with just a hint of spice. They actually have a generous amount in this package. Ooh, it smells good. Let me try it. Mmm! If I'm being honest, it's not spicy at all. I can't describe the flavor. It's a bit sweet, like super subtle sweetness. I'm really happy about this because it's a big package and there's still a ton inside. Moving on to our next snack, the crispy biscuit pretzel texture and mouth-watering savory tomato flavor are unmatched. I don't really like tomatoes. It taste is okay, but I don't like the sliminess of it. Maybe in a snack, it's gonna change my mind. Let me try one. Let's see. You know how spaghetti usually comes with garlic bread? The pretz itself is giving garlic bread and then the flavor of the tomato is like how when your garlic bread touches your spaghetti a bit and then when you take a bite of the garlic bread, there's like a hint of spaghetti in the bread. That's what this tastes like. So next we have these and they're called Halloween Jelly Bean Gummies. Try them in either Ghostly Grape, Creepy Cola, or Ghoulish Ginger Ale flavors. We love resealable packaging. Okay. I'm assuming the ginger ale is the yellow one, cola is the brownish one, and grape is the purple one. I love how they made it like jelly bean gummies. The outer coating is like a jelly bean, but inside it's really like Haribo gummies. That was the ginger ale one for sure. It's really good. Kind of tastes like lemon actually. Another flavor that I don't really like in candy is cola. So let's see if I'll like this one. Tastes like a normal cola candy. Not my favorite, but not bad. Last one is grape. I love grape flavored stuff. Like anything grape, I don't care if it tastes artificial. I'm gonna eat it up every time. grape on top next snack we have this one monster bubblegum energy drink flavor the chewy texture and intense flavor are sure to send a tingle up your spine Ooh, you're so fancy it's like packaged one by one like this it's so cute let's try one Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. I forgot that this has like a filling inside. It's like a sour lemony filling. I think that's the energy drink. Now that it's kind of gone, it's actually pretty good. The gum itself, it's super soft. It's not like the type of gum that you really have to chew. Like I'm just moving it across my mouth and I can feel how soft it is. I'm excited about this one because the packaging is so cute. Pokemon Halloween Choco Pie. The lightly sweet whipped cream is wrapped in yummy cake layers and a rich chocolate coating. I can feel that this Choco Pie went through it because it's literally flat bite into this mm. what more do you expect from choco pie it's soft clearly because it's crumbling it has the right amount of cream inside that's really good overall tastes good not too sweet but i just wish it wasn't destroyed when it came here so next we have this one and it's called black thunder cookie bar this beloved treat is crunchy creamy and has a perfect cookie chocolate ratio let's see i'm intrigued by these claims i think they're onto something this is really good the crumbly cookie is perfect because the chocolate the outer coating of chocolate is already soft because of the weather here like, Kuala March Halloween. With a crispy biscuit coating and creamy chocolate filling, these are sure to please any trick or treater. I am already familiar with Kuala March. Kind of tastes similar to Hello Panda. So cute! I don't know if it's focused. Like that a lot. I'm sure a lot of kids actually eat this. I still eat Hello Panda a lot. We're down to our third to the last snack. Teeny Tiny Monster Chocolates. These cute tiny chocolates come in five fun flavors. Milk choco, sweet soybean powder, strawberry, banana, and melon. They're literally just chocolate pieces. Ooh. But yeah, they're really tiny. I'm assuming the pink one is strawberry. Tastes similar to the strawberry in Apollo. Green one, melon. 
tastes similar to Melona. Sweet soybean powder. It tastes almost smoky. Second to the last, banana. Tastes like a banana. And last is normal chocolate. So I think a clearly good combination would be chocolate and strawberry. Tastes like Apollo. Next, we have these, and they're these tiny little Halloween high chews. Bite into these sweet and chewy mini high chews, perfect for a night of trick or treating. Those are the colors. They're really so small. Let's try this one orange. These are a lot more sour than I thought they were. Melon. I just chewed into it and I can already smell the melon flavor. Ramune. Kind of tastes like bubblegum almost. And lastly, my favorite grape flavor. So good. We're down to the very last snack. Mini Halloween cookies. These adorable mini cookies have the perfect amount of sweetness and crunch. Okay, so I guess these are just normal cookies. They're just a little dry. Barely any flavor. But I think it's a cute little snack to bring with you in your bag if you ever feel lightheaded and just need to eat something. This is that type of snack. Okay, so supposedly we're done with all of the snacks in this booklet. But it seems like Tokyo Treat included a special little snack because this isn't in the booklet and it says at the back that it's a bonus snack. So, okay, so I guess they're bubblegum, probably. The packaging is actually pretty cute and detailed. So it's most likely like gonna be really sour. I didn't chew on it yet and it tastes like nothing, but I feel like the moment I chew, that's when all the, all the flavors gonna come out. It reminds me of this one, but this is more sour. That was an interesting surprise. But now I'm gonna pick my top three favorite snacks. So obviously, no brainer. This one, definitely a favorite. Probably I'm a little biased because I've already tried this before and it has a lot of sentimental value. But even if I haven't tasted this before, it's probably also one of my favorites. Next is this one. I knew this was gonna be one of my favorites because the flavor is really unique but it's also not the kind of unique that tastes weird because you know how other foods are unique tasting because it doesn't taste good? This one actually tastes good. I'm going to pick the chocolate cookie bar because if I were to pick another one, it would be this one. But since I already chose two chips, I'm gonna pick this one. This one is really good. Super love the crunchy cookie texture and the chocolate coating. So yeah, those are my top three for this month's Tokyo Treat box. Now let's move on to the Sakura Ko box. Okay, so we're gonna open up the Sakura Ko box next. And as usual, super elegant packaging. I love the design of their boxes because it's so minimalist, but also it really captures the theme of this month's box. And I love how it says right here, in partnership with Kyoto Prefectural Government. Let's open it and let's hope that nothing's gonna fall this is how the box looks inside i love how the inside is green nature's brush delicately paints kyoto in hues of crimson and gold savor the simple pleasure of sipping tea amidst the autumn air as leaves dance around you allow each delicacy to evoke the spirit of kyoto's rich heritage and savor flavors that resonate with nature experience kyoto's crimson leaves love the sakura koti Okay, so let's get into it and we're lucky because it actually starts off with the tea which I already pre-made which is really good. A Japanese roasted green tea that transports you to the serene streets of Kyoto with every sip. This has been sitting in it for a while. So it's a Japanese roasted green tea. Let's try this out. I can actually taste the roasted rice more than gr the green tea. I just wish the green tea was slightly stronger and that's coming from me and I don't really like green tea that much. I do wish I could taste more of the green, green tea. Maybe it's because I put too much water. So the first snack, we have this one. It's super cute. So this is called the momiji cookie. Momiji or Japanese maple leaves are a staple in Japan's autumn scenery. Wow, that is really nice. Can you guys see it properly? It's so like... 
Nice. What the heck? Mm. Personally, I think it tastes really good when you bite it with the design in the middle because I think this is like where the flavor mostly comes from because it's sugar. Well, let me pair it with this. Pretty good. So next up, we have this and it looks really nice. Enjoy the refreshing sweetness of this pear encapsulating Azuki beans from Kyoto. Mm. I like the taste of the beans, I just don't like the texture. But I like the taste and I also like the taste of the clear jelly. It's really sweet. Like, you won't get sick of it immediately because of the beans. Next, we have this one. Savor the essence of these handmade Kyoto candies crafted using traditional methods over an open fire on the ground. So I think I'll just try one flavor because I don't think I can try out every single one. I don't know if you guys can see it. The lines make it look like a tiny onion. I'm gonna try this one. Now that I'm like deep inside the candy itself, I can taste that it's the black sugar one and it's really, really good. It's not an overwhelming amount of sweetness and I think because it's like handmade. It's like your typical hard candy. Who doesn't love hard candies, right? Next, we have this one. With its refreshing taste and luscious white bean paste filling, this dorayaki offers a delightful blend of flavors. I've never had anything white bean before. Whoa, it's literally perfect. Mmm. The filling is just right and the dorayaki itself, like the pancake itself, is super soft but not too crumbly. I think the yuzu is what really adds the kick. We have this one next and it's called white chocolate fruit. The makers have artfully soaked each succulent banana piece with white chocolate, creating an irresistible dance of flavor. Oh, there's literally only three tiny pieces. So it looks like, like freeze-dried bananas. Wait, that's really good. Honestly, I can barely taste the bananas. And it almost has a hint of saltiness. Kind of. So next, we have this one, and it's called the Soba Cookie. Meticulously crafted using buckwheat flour and baked to perfection for a sweet, crispy, and savory experience. I'm kind of sad that they just gave one, but I am looking forward to this. Ooh, it's perfect! It's so cute, it's shaped like a flower. It almost tastes like those little biscuits that came last in the Tohu Treat box, but this one is more flavorful. It's pretty similar in texture. We have these, coated with gentle sweetness of Japanese sugar for an effortlessly enjoyable treat. So nice. Okay, let's try it out. It really tastes like 1-1. One, one. Change 1-1 one, one to just sugar outside. Coated in a secret soy sauce blend and dusted with domestic Japanese pepper, the invigorating taste of Sancho is complemented by the richness of soy sauce for an irresistible sensation. I'm very intrigued because these look pretty interesting. You taste the soy sauce more, but as you chew, that's when you taste a bit of the pepper. The pepper almost makes it taste smoky. Now, I feel like this next snack might be one of my favorites. It's this one. Each crispy bite offers a unique flavor experience from the array of distinct flavors. If you saw my last two Tokyo Treat and Sakurako videos, you would know that variants of this has made it to my top three. And I just feel like this is gonna make it again because I really love this type of snack. Yeah, I'm gonna try some ASMR with these, so... The last one. So good. I love this. Next snack, this savory arare is seasoned with a touch of salt and a balanced blend of spices. It tastes good, it's just stale. So I don't expect that to be stale because it says here that it's airy, but maybe something happened during, you know, the shipment of the box. But overall, the flavor is good. I just wish it wasn't 
stale. Okay, so moving on. The next isn't actually a snack but an item. Hand painted by artisans at Bloom with the traditional hues of indigo, vibrant flower motifs, and vermilion red blooms. This elegant Japanese dish will gracefully evoke the beauty of Japanese nature within your home. I love the details and I love the choice of colors here if you guys can see it properly it's really like good quality too it has a good weight to it which is really nice and i think i'm gonna use this for my snacks and we have this one next yetsuhashi a cherished kyoto delicacy has been beloved for generations its popularity stems from the delightful blend of crisp texture and graceful cinnamon flavor whoa it smells really good okay I wasn't expecting it to be that texture. It's like really hard when you try to bite on it, but once you chew, it gets soft really quickly. The taste is a sweet kind of cinnamon. Now we are down to the second to the last snack. Unveil the harmony of rich matcha flavor and indulgent textures as it unfolds in your palate. I think I've said this multiple times already. I'm not the biggest fan of matcha, but in snacks, I do like how it tastes. Oh, the cream is really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, there's like crumbs all over my seat. Definitely going in my favorite. It's so good. The very last snap. Delight in the exquisite Uji matcha cream nestled between the layers of airy cakes. Matcha flavored again. Kind of looks like the Doriaki from earlier, but this, she's perfect. Mmm. It's like the matcha cream in this. Whoa, I'm surprised with how similar these two taste. But if I had to pick, I think I like this one more just because I like this kind of texture more than bread. But overall, these taste really good. And actually, it seems like they included another gift. And if you watch my past video, I already tasted this in one of the boxes. So if you want to see my reaction to that, I'm just going to link it below. Okay, so now I'm going to rank my top three favorites from this month's box. So first obviously will be this one it's just such a fun snack to eat because they're all different from each other i really like the white chocolate bananas because it was actually quite unique to be honest because i barely taste the banana but i don't know what else to describe it like the flavor and the white chocolate doesn't even taste like white chocolate and lastly is this one it's the matcha cream cookie i really really enjoyed this which i'm really surprised because i don't really like matcha that much wow okay i am so full and it's been a while since i've filmed a tokyo treat and sakurako taste test video like this so i'm also really tired i actually feel kind of sick right now like not really sick but i'm about to get my period soon tmi so i don't feel my best but i'm really happy i was able to satisfy some cravings through this box that's it for this month's tokyo treat and sakurako unboxing and taste test video and i really really recommend getting these boxes if you are very interested in japanese snacks or japanese cooking culture it's really a great way to uh, be able to try different snacks from japan anyway if you guys enjoyed this video and want to get a box for yourself again you can use my code here for five dollars off your first order for tokyo treat and for sakurako that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye